Praise the Lord. This is Dr. Alani Eugene Shore from the National School of Theology. We're excited to be with you on this afternoon. I just wanted to share with many of you uh, one of the new courses that we're getting ready to involve ourselves in with. We're getting ready to get into teaching about demonology. Then it's been a while since we have talked about demonology. I'm going to share my screen with you if I can. Um, I want to share with you uh, one of the major courses in demonology that we're teaching right now. And let me see how we can do all this. Um, okay, here we go. You're going to find this exciting. Okay, if you're looking and you're following along with me, look here. Now you'll see uh, this is the course that we're going to be teaching demonology. Demonology is the study of demons. And the Bible teaches us, for we rise so not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and power and spiritual wickedness that dwell in high places. Let us know that the weapons of welfare are not carnal. They are not carnal. But the reason why they're not carnal, because carnal weaponry cannot deal with a spiritual demon. There is nothing natural about demons. You cannot... Uh, deal with that is spiritual with things that are natural. So therefore, if the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, it tells us that what you're dealing with is not carnal. You're not dealing with your neighbor or your boss. You're dealing with spirits that subject, that uh, has possessed them or oppressed them. So therefore, what I want us to take a, a, a note of is that many of us today are um, dealing with spirits that we never had any idea that we were dealing with. And our culture has changed. Let's face it, our culture has changed. Because of the influx, America is a, uh, is a melting pot. And we praise God for that. We welcome, and I welcome, I came along to what everyone is here. We thank God we have a little bit of everything in the United States. But likewise, the fact is we also have uh, a number of spirits that come from these other countries. There are spirits that come from Trinidad uh, that are that you would not find uh, culturally in certain places in the United States. There are spirits in India, Siri, the spirit of goddess of uh, prosperity that was more likely brought here. And you'll find that there are many spirits that's in the United States that were not originally here probably over 100 years ago. But because our America is a, a, a melting pot, you'll find that now there are spirits that the church needs to learn to deal with because all we done dealt with spirit of lying, spirit of uh, witchcraft. But there are so many more demons and demonic spirits, evil spirits, that we need to learn in order for us again, to do what God has called us to do. Now, as I, I show you, and I'm going through some of these spirits here, they're in alphabetical order. Uh, we're not going to take time out now to, to go through all of them. But these are demonic spirits. Again, some of the names there. I'm going to show you one of them uh, uh, that you'll find that's actually in your Bible. And that, that spirit is valuable. Look here. See the B. Valuable again, um, and you'll find this is in Revelation, I believe, the 14th chapter, somewhere between the seventh and the, the 11th verse. But you'll find that Valuable, but not only is there Valuable, but look at all the spirits again that come from various, uh, various countries, various places. And you think that when people are coming, they're just bringing natural things, but when people come, they're bringing their spiritual things as well. So, we the church must upgrade, we must, uh, Come a lot further than where we don't come. We must grow. We must become educated. And this is what the National School of Theology is trying to do: is to educate the people of God that there are demonic spirits that's infiltrating the house of God, the people of God. And if we don't teach them how to pray, this is why the Bible tells that we don't pray as we are. Amen. This is why the Holy Spirit make intercession for us because we're still praying over lying spirits and hurt my feelings, spirits, and uh, told a lie on me and rolled my eyes, spirits, when there are demons out there with real names, with real agendas that come not but to steal, 
to kill and destroy. We, the church, need to get up and wake up and that the enemy is here from the White House to your house. The enemy is moving. Many of these spirits work in high places and, and to, to corrupt in our political field. They work in many of, uh, of our high places. And this is why we're seeing our governments uh, again are taking down our governments, again are, are doing things that's not ethical, not moral, because of these demonic spirits behind them. The enemy is attacking from, uh, from the higher level on down. And we must recognize, this is why the Bible says that we need to pray for them that in governmental places. We need to pray that God will, will, will convict, convince and convert them because if they are, are allow the enemy to use them, we're going to see the Holocaust all over again. And this is where the United States is going. We condemn the Holocaust and what happened to the Jews. We condemn the slavery what happened to the blacks. We condemn uh, various acts that happened to many communities. But right now, the United States is headed that way because there are various demons that's trying to take out various sects of communities, of people, and you'll find that this this is why I believe that we need a, we don't need walls, we need bridges. The bridge is the word of God. Uh, we need to be able to spread the word to these people as they come in, that they as they come in and they come in, amen, feeling the power of God, being washed and covered in the blood. But again, as we're talking about, you're not gonna be able to build a wall high enough to keep these spirits out. I don't I just don't get it, I don't understand. I'm not trying to spend no billions of dollars to build a wall when the weapons of a warfare are not thrown up. Walls is not going to stop the adversary. Our president, God bless his soul, amen, our enemy is not Mexico. Our enemy is the devil, the thousand, or the Lord of fly. This is our enemy, but when you are ignorant, then, then you'll try to do carnal things uh, to spiritual things, and that does not work. If you're interested in this course, again, you want to register right now. Go to the National School of Theology, register. Give me a call. Inbox me. Dr. Sure, I want to take this new course in demology. I need that list of demons. I need their names. I need what they do because I think my home is going through this. I think my church is going through this. I think my pastor needs this. I think my congregation needs this. Please get up with me so we can get you started. Amen. As soon as May and June come, we're getting into this new level of teaching and demonology. This is Dr. Orlando G. Sharp from the National School of Theology. God bless you. Look forward to you. Give me a call. That's 302-465-8077. Or hit me up through email. That's D-R-O-E Short at gmail.com. Or you can inbox me here. Please inbox me uh, on uh, Facebook here. Amen. And connect with me. Amen. And let us get you registered so you can take this in-depth course. I grant you, there's nothing like a demonology list. We're going to give you the list, the names, what they do, uh, what they're trying to do, what they've already done. Because you need to know where the enemy is coming from, where he's going, and also where he's been. Again, we praise God for you. May have a smile upon you. Dr. Sharp signing out. Be blessed.